Hey, how's it going? Dave 2D here. So when Samsung announced the S9 and the S9 Plus, one of the things that they talked about really briefly in their keynote was the inclusion of a new heart sensor. And that was something that was really interesting to me because it was the first heart sensor. It was the first phone that could supposedly measure blood pressure with just a touch, which is pretty impressive. Now, I mentioned this briefly before in another video and people are like, who cares? You know, Samsung phones have had heart sensors forever. This is new. The old ones could measure heart rate, which is basically how fast your heart beats in a minute, which is cool. But this measures blood pressure, which is the, I guess, the, the amount of pressure that your blood exerts on your the walls of your blood vessels. It's, it's a very complex thing to measure. Like, you can't just measure it. Traditionally, you need equipment to do it. You need a cuff that inflates, and then you need a stethoscope to hear what's going on inside there. They have equipment to, like, speed it up, but it's not a one-touch process. The other reason why I find it interesting is that, okay, it's actually the more important reason, is that blood pressure is one of the leading risk factors when it comes to cardiovascular disease. And cardiovascular disease is the number one leading cause of death globally. It's literally like the, the number one thing that kills people in the world, cardiovascular disease. And if you have a device, like a phone that you can hold in your hand that can measure blood pressure, like, that, that could change the world. That could literally save lives. So I wanted to see what this thing could do. I wanted to see if this thing was accurate. I wanted to see if the sensor worked like I thought it would work. And yeah, there's some good things, there's some bad things, but we're just kind of gonna go through them real quickly. So to make this whole thing work, you need to get an app. It's specific to the S9 and the S9 Plus. Like it doesn't work on other phones. It's called My BP Lab, and it's made in conjunction with Samsung. It's through some university, and it's the only app that currently uses the blood pressure sensor. Now this may change in the future, but as of today, the middle of March, it's the only way that you can use this blood pressure sensor on the S9 and the S9 Plus. Okay, so when you set this thing up, the first thing you'll notice is that this is a research study and the data that this app measures and collects is used to kind of see the relationship between stress and health. It's an interesting study, but I mean, I'm here just for the blood pressure measurement. That's all I really care about. Okay, so you have to sign a whole bunch of consent things, but it's pretty easy to get it up and running. Now, the first time you use this, it asks you to do a base measurement for your blood pressure. And that's where things get a little bit weird. The app doesn't tell you an actual number. Like you don't know your blood pressure value. You just know that that's your base measurement. And any subsequent measurement that you do with the app, it just tells you if it's gone up or down as a percentage. It never actually gives you a number. Now there is a way to get a number into the system. We have to calibrate it using external hardware. So you need a blood pressure cuff or a blood pressure machine of some sort, or you can go to your physician and get it done, but you can input an actual known measurement for your base blood pressure so that the app knows what that base value is. So every time you remeasure it, if it goes up or down, it'll kind of just calculate what the difference is and just give you the new updated value. So the app doesn't actually measure blood pressure, it just kind of measures the change in blood pressure. So if you have like a base value that the app knows, it can give you a number, but if you don't, you don't have an actual measurement. So the sensor uses PPG to try to measure the blood pressure. It's basically an optical measurement. The sensor has a couple of LEDs and it measures the way that the light reflects off of your fingertip when it's covering the sensor to obtain a value. So I calibrated this thing to my blood pressure, but when I use the app on my family members and friends, some of them who I know have drastically different blood pressures from me, the app and the sensor just weren't picking up proper differences. Now it is possible or even very likely that the app kind of caters to the user, like because it's calibrated to me, it wouldn't work on other people. I think that's very likely, but I did test this thing out in a different way. So what I did was I just exercise and exercise does elevate blood pressure a bit and the app does pick up that increase in blood pressure, but it doesn't seem to be as accurate as a blood pressure cuff. Now it could be a limitation with the actual sensor, like maybe it's not designed to measure elevated blood pressure from exercise because that's like not how you want to measure blood pressure normally, but I mean, that's just, that's the only way that I can really test or pretend to test its accuracy. Now there are other limitations. Uh, one, I noticed that cold fingers don't work very well. Dry fingers as well, like I have kind of some dry hands from the winter and just like, it doesn't always work reliably. And the app itself mentions that certain skin pigmentations may not work. But I think the big limitation comes from the sensor itself, or at least the algorithm that the sensor is using to calculate blood pressure. So I think it's weird that it doesn't measure blood pressure, but I did a little research on this whole technology and that seems to be an issue with the tech. Like there's a feasibility study on this stuff and they're saying that you could measure the relative variation of blood pressure, but they couldn't find the absolute pressure value. Like I'm not even comfortable saying that this thing can measure blood pressure. It can measure the change in blood pressure, but 
it can't actually measure your blood pressure, at least not with the current iteration of this app. Now, I think this app and this hardware and this whole thing can get way better. And I think that may be why Samsung is doing this partnership with the university. Like maybe they're gonna be taking the data from like all the people that are gonna be using this app and using it to improve the sensor or the algorithm that is used in this sensor. And like that could just make it better over time. But right now the app and the sensor feel kind of mediocre to me. So the idea of a phone that you could use to check your blood pressure intermittently is awesome. And I think for some very, very rare cases, it could technically save a life, even in its current iteration. Like if you were someone that didn't know anything about your blood pressure and you started using this thing and you noticed that it was elevated, you could kind of do something to monitor or manage that. That's cool, but for the vast majority of people that are interested in this phone, like I would not consider the blood pressure monitor a a substantial feature, at least not enough to warrant the purchase of this phone because of that feature. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.